Uh, Alright, hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to build an orc fort. And this is it so far. Right here, I've got this one piece. I've drawn out some fire points. I'm going to cut those out. And then a tower, which can. I haven't decided whether I'm going to glue them together or have them stand alone. But uh, it's going to look something like that. They'll be decorated and everything, but this is just the basic structure. Alright, sorry my room is in such a clutter. I've just been working on a couple of projects. My new Orc Boys and Custom Runt Herd. Pretty cool. Made out of green stuff. And this guy here. Now, rest in the comment section if you want a video about that. Okay, so... Um, position camera. So... Ow! <coughs> sorry. Anyway. These are made out of high impact polystyrene. Um, I, I've, all, I've, I've been looking around and I, I wanted to use plastic card. And I asked in my DT part department at school, design technology, I asked them what plastic card was. And they had no idea, but they said this high impact polystyrene. I'm not sure if they're the same thing or not, but it works pretty well as long as you don't use it too big. Because if you use it in really big sheets, it becomes really flimsy. So just use them in small pieces. And these were glued together with super glue. Now, a very essential thing, like seriously, for buildings, you have to plan them out. The, like, really. And so these are these were my designs. I looked up like orc forts and stuff to get some inspiration on Google. And you've got like measurements. This is the top view, the front view. Uh, the, this part here, I'm so still not sure if I'm going to make that, but yeah, and then there's a left view lying around somewhere. Alright, so, yeah, and, um, well, on estimation, this little building here, um, can fit about 20 orc boys, I think. Yeah, there, there are nine, just there, a bit cramped, and maybe with this building... Uh, I'd say maybe nine more, or s more even, ten more. So, yeah, about 30 boys, so a full squad of boys, and that's that's quite a big capacity. All right, and so um, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decorate it uh, using some, well, you can use lots. I'm going to use polished styrene that's going to be used. This is, uh, I'm going to make something like a cover for fire points with this. Like a little bunker-like thing. Imagery. That's going to be cut out. And uh, what else? Let's see. Cardboard. Now this, I can... You, if you can see here, between cardboard, there's those wavy pattern things. If you rip open that cardboard, and if you take off the top layer, then you will get corrugated iron, which looks great, painted rusty. If you saw my other video, I'm going to paint it like that. And then, um, what else? Um, some from the Orc Boys sprue that we got here. There are some glyphs. Like right here, there's the fast attack glyph. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. And then there's a goth clan glyph right there. And then bits and pieces like this rocket backpack. I decided not to use because I thought it looked it would look really cool as scenery. So I I didn't put on the rocket launcher guy. I am just gonna save it for a rainy day. So yeah, I bought cardboard, styrofoam, bits and pieces from the orc sprue, and uh, there's some MDF here. I don't think I'm gonna use that. Cereal boxes always great to have around. And before you make any of this, just like look up some inspirational pictures, well, uh, inspirational pictures for inspiration about ideas and stuff. Oh, uh, like here, I just looked up on Google, Games Workshop, everything. All right. Okay, now to make this, some pieces of corrugated iron, I'm gonna demonstrate cutting them out. Uh, I don't know if you can see very well. Sorry. So, take your craft knife. Stanley knife, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And let's see, I'm just going to cut a big.
hope you can see. I just can't find a platform to put the camera on. And remember, since it's orky, so you know you don't have to have regular size pieces. You just I mean, whatever the hell. All right, now there it is. You can see I've ripped off like the top layers and stuff. And this could also be used for smaller pieces if you want. You can just cut that out with scissors. Don't have to use a knife. And now um, to, there, there, there's just little bits. And as you can see, that's yeah, that was pretty corrugated. And the back is flat, but that's fine because that's just gonna be pressed up against the thing, the wall. So now I'm just gonna clean out the inside with, with like a pencil just, or the end of a paintbrush. Just clean out the inside. And probably better, okay, just sand in between the cracks, I don't know if this will reach. Well, this, this, this is going to be spray painted black before, before it's painted. I'll show you how to paint it in the next video, in part two. And so if, yeah, so polystyrene you have to stick on after you spray paint it because if you spray paint polystyrene then it'll melt literally I'm not joking it's not a pretty sight all right so here I cleaned out as best I could the the little rip the things indents and now and that can just be stuck on Okay, I'm going to show you another way that, uh, another armor plate that can be used to cover the building. I've already showed you how to make corrugated iron, so. So this is what you do. You get a piece of plastic card, can also be cardboard. Make sure it's strong and sturdy. Okay, and first you've got to cut it out in a rectangular shape or a square shape. And then we're going to now round, round off the corner. Now you don't want to make it look too rounded, otherwise it'll look planned. But, and we're trying to make it look orky. So first, a big angle, just like that, just like that, so you've got a cut like that, and then another one of a smaller angle, like that. That's it, just two cuts, rounded off a corner. You can experiment a bit with that. And then, um, what you want to do is, here, get a bit of sprue. Here, this is my sprue box, it's actually a tambourine, but... Yeah, and you just on the on sprues they have this piece. And they've got these weird circle things. You can see those right there. And so yeah, whenever I'm whenever I'm cleaning out sprues, I just I've got a pile of those in here, so I'm just gonna get one. Again. gonna get this here's this cut off circle and when you're gluing it just make sure you're gluing it with your with the flat edge on towards the there it is you can see it the flat edge towards the towards the the board and as you can see here um it's flat and so this this is gonna be like this is gonna look Hopefully, it's gonna look like a uh, like a screw. All right, so you've got it here, and then just apply a dab of glue. glue. Do it. Make sure you got it roughly in the corner. But remember, not not directly there because once again, orky. And then you just and you just drop it in there. Just drop it in. Smaller ones are better. I've used a big one here. You can also use actual screw heads or nuts. And it looks better. And and let's see, I'll just add another one. A minute. I'll just add the other screws and then I'll show you how to weather. Alright, now to weather the armor plates, you just take a hobby knife or scissors, depending on what you've got. The hobby knives you can you can just get they're just like craft knives, or you can use a Stanley knife, a cutter. They're just just like that, just little marks on the sides just to weather it. All right, and you do that all around. And then also you ha you should it it looks good to just gauge out some edges. So for that I'm just going to take the hobby knife and just get just the edge 
sorry. Freaking camera fell down again. Alright, and then so you just cut out, just gauge out the edge. Like that. The, the finished product should look like that. I mean, well, I mean, the unpainted. So you just, you can see just cut up inside. It's pretty good. I actually, I drilled some holes in this to give it a bit of variety. And that's my blood from when I actually accidentally cut my finger. But, yeah, that's okay. So anyway, yeah.